The city of Cleveland is going to pay you 180 grand to take this beautiful new construction home, right? There are various housing grants available, right? Now, everybody that's watching my show, well, not everybody. I'm sure uh, there are people, other people, uh, other than investors. But the majority of people that watch my show are investors. And you know what happens to us when all these grants and stuff become available? They're usually never for us. They're never for investors. Investors never get to utilize these grants. They're usually only for owner-occupants, right? Think the uh, HUD houses, right? You can't even bid on those half the time for the first, like, 21 days, right? But there is a government grant available to pay you 180 k to take this house and turn it into an Airbnb rental. And I'm going to talk about that right now. This is your show. This is the show where I work for you directly, taking your needs. I'm going through the MLS, and I'm trying to find the best possible deal for you guys. Put down 25%. That's the perfect way to buy this. That's why real estate investing is the greatest industry in the world. Welcome to the show, folks. My name is James Wise, and today, today we are working with my man, Mike. Mike, you are an investor from Rocky River that is a suburb just west of Cleveland. And I'm going to show you how to get a government grant, 180 grand, to buy this beautiful brand new home and turn it into an Airbnb property. And folks, here's the cool thing. The thing I love about this grant is, again, it's available to us. It's available to investors. Most of the time, it's not. And everybody watching this show, because here's how the shows work. I work with you one-on-one. -on -one. I send you the videos privately, okay? Then, after the deal's no longer on the market, when the deal closes months later, I publish these videos publicly on Holton Wise TV for everybody to learn, right? So Mike is local. So I know a lot of other people are out there like, oh, well, that's cool. It's a government grant, and finally they can get it to investors. But obviously, I need to be an Ohio resident like Mike. No. No, you don't. There's grants like this available. You can get this money. And you don't have to be from Ohio. You don't even have to live in the U.S. You can invest in this type of stuff from outside of the U.S., right? We are doing deals like this with investors from all over, man. Singapore, Florida, Colorado, Portland, California, Texas, New York. A lot of people from Jersey are taking advantage of what the government's trying to do because for once— the government and us investors have an aligned interest. So I'm going to explain to you this deal, which, again, if you're not Mike, this particular deal's gone, folks. You, to get another deal utilizing the strategy, you need to send my team an email, give us your number, or you can click the show notes below uh, to get some personalized videos like this or book yourself a free call to talk to my team about getting personalized videos like this. And then I'll do actual videos like this in real time with you. But for now, if you're not Mike, sit back, relax, and just watch how you can finally be incentivized in the same direction as the government right now. Hey, Steve. What are you doing? Oh, nothing. Just saving money on my rental property insurance. Oh, my, Steve. Take me now. Holton Wise, real estate investing made easy. Wow, I'm so glad I clicked that link below. Welcome back. Now, let's figure this out, right? From the picture, you can see it's a beautiful, nice house, right? Let's just cruise these photos real quick. Very, very nice, right? Everything on this screams luxury. The thing looks friggin' beautiful. Love that quartz backsplash, right? This is a badass house, dude. White on white with the light wood floors. This thing is friggin' banging, right? Just got built, okay? Just got built in one of the most popular gentrifying neighborhoods in the Cleveland market, right? When people talk about the resurgence of the Cleveland market, they talk about a few specific neighborhoods because things like this are happening, okay? This particular house, folks, this particular house is right between two of them, the Detroit Shore Way and Ohio City. Now, the reason for all this gentrification is because there's government incentives, right? We in the city of Cleveland have very old housing stock. You don't see 
housing stock this old on like the West Coast or in Florida or things like that, right? This is a neighborhood of 100 and something year old houses. And the reason this is one of the top neighborhoods, the most gentrified neighborhoods, is because it's proximity to the lake and downtown Cleveland, okay? All right, you got the lake, you got downtown Cleveland, right? These are the hot spots. Trema, Ohio City, Detroit Shoreway, right? Uh, <clears throat> and then Detroit Shoreway is like Gordon Square, by the way. Gordon Square, Detroit Shoreway, Ohio City. We're right smack dab in the middle, okay? These are the hot neighborhoods, right? And what is going on is you have the city of Cleveland who's investing with investors, investors like you, to get these neighborhoods looking good, right? 100, 100 125-year-old houses are in this neighborhood, right? What they're doing is they're paying. 15-year tax abatements, okay? 15-year tax abatements for new construction, right? You take the tax rate in Cleveland. It's like 2.79%, right? So for every $100,000 of value, you're paying almost 3 k right? So for this property, let's call it $3,000 per 100, right? So that's four. That'd be like twelve grand, $12,000 a year, okay, in taxes that you don't got to pay, okay? That would be... 12,000 times 15, that'd be the government paying you $180,000 to buy this banging house. And unlike, unlike most government housing incentives, it does not matter if you live there or not. We as investors can buy these for investment properties and turn these in to Airbnb rentals, which is making a killing in the Cleveland market for investors, right? When you get premium location, premium construction like this it's awesome right and the cool thing uh with these neighborhoods right is i believe the uh <coughs> uh appreciation is just going to continue because they're getting rid of all the super old houses right like this one uh this was originally like a hundred something year old house and they tore everything down it looks like they uh went with like the basement and then just built it all back up right so i think you got the old basement but everything they did uh, was done to new construction green housing standards. That's the thing with this tax abatement, by the way, folks. Uh, the work has to be done to green housing standards. What that means is it's more energy efficient, which guess what? We're investors. We're renting the house to Airbnb guests. We're paying the utilities. So that lowers our costs, right? So beautiful home, nice neighborhood, a neighborhood where the city is incentivized to see you succeed because they want to get rid of old housing and bring in new to beautiful new housing like this one right so as far as the numbers go should be able to rent this house out for approximately 375 a night on average right it's going to vary right of course it'll be lower in the winter higher in the summer things of that nature and we ain't going to rent it every day folks you ain't actually going to get no eleven thousand dollars a month because you got to factor in vacancy almost 40 percent right so after you factor that in along with all your fixed and variable expenses, right? Paying my team, paying Holton Wise to handle your property management, right? That's what's great. It don't matter where you live, right? Just like it's cool that the government's paying this $180,000 tax abatement to us uh, and we're investors, we could take advantage of that. You also don't have to be a Cleveland resident or an Ohio resident, right? You can live wherever you want and take advantage of this because the city's incentivized to get rid of old housing stock and replace it with fresh new housing stock, and they're going to pay you to the tune of 180 k right? So after I, my team handles everything, right? We got $200 million in investment property sales in this market. Long story short, we know what the hell we're doing, folks. You can rest easy when you got the biggest company of its type handling the day-to-day -day operations, handling the hosting, handling everything. You do nothing, right? So when it's all said and done, I believe this investment should make you just under 5K a month or under 60K a year. Now, as far as price goes, they have it listed at 409000 I think we can get a little, little bit better of a price for you, right? 4099 is what they have. I want to try to pick it up for 395 And then, of course, we're going to need to furnish it so we can put some Airbnb guests in there, right? So all told, your investment's 415 FYI, that 25 k you don't have to come up with that cash. Holton Wise does take credit cards uh, for renovations and furnishings, right? So the total investment's 415 You only need 123 and three quarters out of your pocket. Minus another twenty-five, you really only need ninety-eight thousand in cash. You could do twenty-five, float that on your credit card. So really, you only need about ninety-eight k to do the deal. But let's just say one hundred twenty-three upfront funds, because you can't just let that credit card money ride, or you're paying like a twenty-nine percent APR. That'd be bad shit, crazy, wouldn't it? 
We'll get the bank to kick in uh, 296000 at a much more reasonable APR. By the way, investors, if you guys need loans, I got them. Hit my team up for an email. I'll get those to you. I project this sucker to kick out approximately a 34% cash on cash return, right? And that's not accounting for appreciation, which, full disclosure, Cleveland is not an appreciation market, right? We get a lot of people at Holton Wise that come to us from, like, Florida, California, right? These are your appreciation markets, but people have trouble finding cash flow positive properties in those markets, and they have trouble finding affordable properties in those markets, right? So those are the appreciation markets. Cleveland, not known for appreciation. It's not a Sun Belt City. It's not the West Coast. It's Rust Belt. However, there are certain pockets, right, that typically see higher appreciation. There are certain economic factors at play, right? I can't guarantee you you'll get appreciation, and I sure as hell am not telling you come to Cleveland for appreciation-based investing. No. If you're really focused on appreciation, California, Florida, those are great bets. Cleveland is cash flow. However, in my opinion, all signs are pointing to this neighborhood having the most appreciation when you factor things in where we're seeing a ton of gentrification and a ton of money being thrown at investors like you to make neighborhoods like this have a bunch of $400,000 new houses as opposed to what we see right now is like a mix of new houses and really, really old houses. What's this neighborhood going to look like when all the houses are new and all those 100-year-old houses are gone because the city's paying freaking investors from around the world 180 k a pop to get rid of them? Thanks for watching. Subscribe to Holton Wise TV for more financial information, education, and entertainment.